Cougars. I love Cougars. What a beautiful shot by Jake Toulson. Cougar pride. Marcelo can really play. T.J. Hall is the same thing. Toulson, Harding, these guys are awesome. <laughs> Top five Tuesday. Yeah. Honoring the great Let's Bill go. Walton. Jeremy's even got the jersey on. The rare okay to wear red day. These are the yeah. best Bill Walton moments from the BYU-UCLA game in the 2019 Maui Invitational specifically. And I'm going to read this uh, sponsored uh, part in Bill Walton voice, shall I? Oh, yeah, I like Top it. Top 5 Tuesday is presented by E-Assist Dental Health Foundation, reminding you dental cleanings are essential for your health. <laughs> Learn more at visityourdentist.org. And the Grateful Dead. <laughs> Very nice. Start us off at number five. Number five. There's no other way to set this up than fee fi fo fum <laughs> fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of little ones or grind their bones and drink their blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bill gonna Bill. Bill gonna Bill. <laughs> I, that's a fun start to this. At, that's number five. At number four. What's going on? Bill Walton is obviously a very tall man. He shared his thoughts on people who are under six feet ten inches and his feelings specifically about guards in basketball. Everybody under 6'10 looks exactly the same to me. Guards. Feed the post. Inbound the ball. Play token defense on the perimeter and get out of the way. <laughs> token defense. That's great. Okay, number three. Bill shared a memory that he had with uh, Celtic teammate Danny Ainge. This is gold. We, we became teammates. And one day, he was messing with me in practice. Because I was struggling physically and I was having trouble getting up and down the court. But I had the groove because the big man always has the groove right down the middle of the court. And so he kept getting in my way. And one time, I, after telling him numerous times to stop, I leveled him. And he jumped up and he got in my face for leveling. And I said, looked at him and I said, hey man, that's my space, that's my length. And so Jerry Seasting, who was my teammate, came over to defend Danny Ainge. And I looked at both of them, and I pointed to Danny, and I said, hey, the only thing I hate more than a guard, and then I turned to Jerry Seasting, and I said, is a second-string guard. And then, I, <laughs> and then I walked away and said, let's play ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, how wild is it that Danny Ainge and Bill Walton were teammates on the Boston Celtics? That great uh, 86 team was special, man. He was part of that. Bill Walton was the sixth man of the year. Oh, he's a man that uh, knows a lot about history and player oh, yeah. lineage, but he did have a question specifically about Jake Toulson's family history. Guys, how did he become Danny Ainge's nephew? Well, I think he's born into it. It's usually how it works. Really? Why does Danny always look so happy? <laughs> <laughs> I love Dave Pash's role in all of this. I know. Dave, I, Dave's a straight man. Dave Pash is, Dave's, is awesome. Yep, that's great. And at number one, how could it be anything other than Bill's perfect cougar grill? Okay, well, so. the cougars. I love cougars oh, here boy. in Maui. Arr, arr. Elders have come to fight today. Arr! Cougars clawing, proud, growling. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Go Cougs. Long live Bill Walton, man. Oh, we're going to miss him. Oh, has there ever been a greater broadcaster of BYU athletics than Bill Walton? First time I said anything to him, he came in at the Mercer NIT game in like, what was it, 2013, yeah. 14? I said, Bill. Great to have you here. And he goes, great to be yeah. here. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm just yeah. super excited about it. Yeah, it's great, man. Oh, a legend for sure. We're certainly going to miss him.